Hey there, I'm David Schechter in Hawaii, where they're transitioning to renewable energy faster than most people thought was even possible. In 2015, Hawaii became the first state to pass a law saying all electricity would come from renewable sources like wind and solar by 2045. Jeff Michelina is an environmentalist in Hawaii who pushed for that clean energy standard, which initially was not well received. The governor at the time called me Harry Potter, uh, which I thought was a bit of an honor. Um, we kept on pushing, though. Because you know, it's wizardry or he something? He said it was magical thinking. Magical you thinking. Just, yeah. Since then, Hawaii's electricity mix has undergone significant changes. For example, in 2013, the state got less than 1% of its electricity from solar. By 2021, that number grew to 17.5%. While 5.1% of that came from solar farms, 124 comes from things like rooftop solar on private homes. I mean, you can yeah. see on a lot of rooftops, you see solar panels. Right. Yeah, it's been fantastic, the, the adoption of rooftop solar over the last 10 or 15 years in Hawaii. The commitment to 100% renewable energy in Hawaii is ahead of schedule and has led to other noticeable changes like the closure of the state's last remaining coal plant in 2022. But the state is still heavily reliant on oil imported from places like Libya and until recently Russia. The cost of electricity has also gone up and many of the easier steps have already been taken. But Michelina says it's worth the continued effort. The bottom line is we need to get off fossil fuel as fast as possible. Um, and it's really not a question of, you know, can we achieve it? It's, it's a moral question that we must. I'm David Schechter reporting.